Okay, so we're gonna start with the diaphragm, then the trachea, also known as the windpipe, then the right and left lung onto the bronchi, which divides into the right and left bronchus, and then making our way to bronchioles, and lastly, alveoli. And the diaphragm separates the abdomen from the thoracic area and it contracts as we inhale and flattens as we exhale. Pictured to the left is the trachea and as we inhale air from our nose and our mouth it makes its way down the trachea and we also want to note the tracheal cartilages um, outside of the trachea. Starting with the right lung, as you can see, there are three distinct regions, also known as lobes, and starting from the top to bottom, they are named superior, middle, and inferior. As we move to the left lung, you will see the difference. Now, the left lung only has two lobes, and from top to bottom, these lobes are called superior and inferior. From the trachea, it divides into two bronchi, right bronchus, left bronchus. So today we're focusing on the right bronchus since they're pretty similar. Through the different levels of bronchi, primary, secondary, and tertiary, we finally make it to the smaller branches known as bronchioles. the bronchioles and at the very end of these we see alveoli. They are very important to the respiratory system because they exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide to and from the bloodstream.